Well, I'm still alive, so that will be a yes. You know, neither of these answers is much good. That one is a trap. So I'm going to try this one and see if it actually gets you out of the trap. Well, we'll chalk that one down as an inner way. Yes, it does get you out of the trap, but that just ends up getting you killed, so... Well, 10 out of 10 for observation, twat face. No, actually, it doesn't even get you out of the trap. We'll see what I mean. Because if I'm right, yeah, rather than just sending us back to uh, five o'clock present day, we're now in 1979. You know, uh, plot, I'll speak later. I'm a good husband. Wow, congratulations. Do you work at this museum? No, I'm sorry, my name is Deckard. I've just taken over from my father, the director of this museum. What? You're Mr. Eckert? Yes, is there, is there anything I can do for you? No, nothing. Your Digivice is not responding. Please send an error report. It doesn't work. Well, how about that? Just a small sample of what I can do. How will you get that? If I can solve that, I'm going to be able to get my dad. So, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Okay, so interesting point number one. There's a guy at the very start of that cutscene who sees us warp in and is surprised by that. I can't. I don't think that really develops into a plot point of any form, you know. No one figures out that you're a time traveller or anything. And I'm sure we've warped in, like, directly in front of people before and they haven't been able to notice. And I kind of just assume that they couldn't see, that they just, like, that you were always there because, you know, you're altering time and therefore you're altering their perception of things. So I don't know why they put that bit bit in because it just makes it a bit inconsistent. So yeah, we've met Mr. Eckert, a young-looking Mr. Eckert, um, and yes, we will be visiting this uh, the year seventy-nine again, but that's not important right now. For no particular reason, to prove who he is, to test Ike's strength, to just generally be a dick. Homunculus has left us without the uh, little green pulsing charge particle things that get that get us home. Obviously this isn't much of a problem, you can see there's one over there. Basically this is just a tutorial so that the game makes sure that you've noticed the existence of these things and that you should be picking them up. 
given the fact that you start with like nine, this is the only point in the game at which you ever actually need to collect any. Well, that is to say, this is the only point in the game at which you ever run out. You know, you can get them so easily. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have a look around. We should probably get back as soon as possible. But I want to just see if there are any other little charged particles we can get, because, you know, we kind of need them. And also, I want to see what happens if you go see the fortune teller at this point. This is the trap I was trying to avoid, by the way, by not challenging Homunculus to prove his existence. But given that Ike then walks out of the door and the thing falls on him again and he's dead, and then we just get sent here, it's, you know, you're railroaded into this. I know, that's boring. No, there's nothing happening at the Fallen Arthur, is Right, okay, I can't be asked to look for any more of these, let's get back. So we're teleported back in. And there, Mysterious Vase. The plot point I think I missed from the last cutscene. Well, that's that particular cause of death eradicated. Thank God for the guiding force of plot. And do we really have to focus on the scared kitties? It's all right. I'll take care of it, later. Sorry. it was only a priceless antique. I was only going to drop it on your head. Yes, all right, he likes cats, we get it, for God's sake. I do have a daughter. Rather, I did. Taken by some man, I might have to change the form. No. Do we think that could possibly be related to Ike? Well, well, well. The plot, as they say, thickens considerably. We've seen homunculus in the, for want, for want of a better word, flesh. And I believe we have another, well, our first suspect. I'll leave you to figure out what you think of Eckert.
Turning a philosopher's stone to an alchemist. Well, well. Where could that possibly lead? Well, I know again it's been a bit of a short chapter, but I don't want to go into the next one and risk having to restart things and do it all over again, so uh, I will see you next time. You have plenty of plot points to meditate on. Um, be interested to know uh, any ideas about where this is leading. You know, if you um, if you have any if you have any theories, I'd be interested to see how how correct they are, particularly as you know, I'm, I don't know what ending we're going to get. So, drop a comment if you feel like it. Very well, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.